back to my channel. Today I am doing another Halloween look. So if you want to sit around and play with a little bit of makeup, see if we can create a spooky Halloween look, then please just keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and stay a while. I would love to have you. All right, guys, we're just going to jump in. I am going in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper, and I'm just mapping out where I want the mask to lay. This is a clown mask tutorial, by the way. Is everybody getting excited for Halloween? I know we are. I'm, I've done so many Halloween looks this year. I don't know. I'm just ready for it to come and go. All right, now I'm going in with the Jouer foundation and I am just mapping out right along that black line that I laid down for my mask. By doing this, you're creating a wall so that way you don't get makeup on the opposite side of the mask. But if, if for some reason that you do get some of the foundation, you know, get out of line a little bit, it's fine. All you have to do is once your foundation is dried or set, just go back in with the liner pencil and just go over it just to create that line back and put the, putting the line back. And then just taking the rest of the foundation and going ahead and filling in the mask. Guys, I found by using a shade or two that's actually lighter than your skin works best for this type of tutorial. This. Uh, Jouer foundation if you've watched my channel this is actually one that I mix in with other foundations so I just went in just using it only so that a way it, it's got a bit of a contrast there from my natural to where the mask is laying All right, now I'm gonna start working on the brows. And when you do your brows on this type of uh, um, tutorial, to me, the bolder the brow, the better. I went in with the uh, Morphe pencil in dark, just, no, this is Java. And then I'm gonna come in behind with um, Kat Von D's dark brown pomade. This stuff, I'm telling you guys, if you get a chance to get your hands on some, it's bomb. It does not budge once it's dried. You can get caught in a hailstorm and your brows are still going to be intact. For cheeks, I went in with Makeup Geeks XOXO. This is the brightest pink I had. You don't have to do a really bright pink, but I did just to sort of keep that clown look going. You could use any color you want to. You do not have to do this. Now for the eyes, I went in with Jaclyn Hill's Ring the Alarm palette. And again, you do not have to do a big, bold, dramatic eye. You can do a plain, simple, smoky eye, a dark shadow. You can use two shadows. I really went in on this. I wanted to do the, um, the more uh, smoky eye on this. So, like I said, I went in with the Ring the Alarm palette in Secret and in Framed is the two colors that I'm working with right now. Then I went in with Lolly for the lid shade. Guys, if you haven't had a chance to pick the Ring the Alarm palette up, really pick it up. It's a nice one to have to your collection if you don't already own that big palette. The next I'm going in with that dark magic in Temperus and just to deepen up and then back in with the tattoo liner for a winged um, yeah winged eyeliner all right next I'm gonna go in and just um, line my waterline and tight line with that LA girl pencil I kind of get out of frame here but I think I just get so into doing what I'm doing that I'm really not paying attention to what's if I'm in frame or not so sorry guys the next step that I am going in and um, just smoking out that lower lash 
in with those two colors from the Ring the Alarm palette. I just went on ahead and mixed them together, kind of cut some of this video. Now over the eye, I went in and I'm going and um, just creating um, a triangle. And I'm just going to fill it in. And when I fill it in, I'm going to go back in that um, Dark Magic palette with Tempers and just fill in. Sorry if I get out of frame any guys, but if you want to, you can just fill that in with a dark black pencil or anything. I just use these shadows. I just find it work a little better. Here I'm making the little circle on my nose and I did get out of frame and I lost a piece of the footage doing this, but I think you get the gist of it. Just make, creating that little circle and then I took a white pencil and created the two lines to sort of give it that plasticky look. Now I'm going in and I'm just going to create two more upside down triangles under the eye. And the same thing, I'm mapping out with the Ofra gel liner. And then I'm going to come back in and fill in with um, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette. Again guys, if you just want to fill that in with a dark pencil, I mean it's totally up how, however you want to do it. I just found it easier. Just to shade it in with these dark shadows now I'm gonna start working on lips and on the lips I just use the black I think I did it with color pops pencil the black the eyeliner pencil and I just lined my lips creating you know small wings on either side of the lips you can do this either you can you don't even have to do a big clown lip you could do regular red lips and this would have been cute but I'm just going in and I am going to go in with Jeffree Star's Weirdo and Gerard Cosmetics um, Underworld. And I'm going to create an ombre effect just to sort of get that um, purple color in my eyes to come out a little, you know, and just create a little ombre lip instead of doing just a flat black. You can do flat black, you can do red, you can do pink. Any color you want to do would, would have worked fine with this. Alright guys, now I'm going to go in with this Mojo color out of the Dark Magic palette. And I'm going to start shading around the mask. By doing this, it really makes it come to life. Alright guys, now I'm going to go in and highlight on the mask. I really wanted to give it that plastic look, but, and I guess I did to an extent, but I would have liked to have it a little more, but we, we just made this work. This stuff by Jeffree Star, this is his newest um, formula. It is bomb. I am loving it. I will be picking up another. Now I'm going to go in and start creating the little circles where the string attaches to this type of mask and then I'm going to draw the little string in and that is it guys. I think this look came out fantastic. If you are not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and stay a while. If you are already subscribed to my channel thanks for watching my videos guys it really means the world to me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.